Shalom. Today we're going to do another set of small, easily confused words with similar meanings that revolve around sin and iniquity. So these four words are very similar, as you can see. They both have the aleph or the ayin, which frequently interchange in cognate words. They have a vav in the middle, but it's a consonantal vav in every case and then either lamed or nun at the end. So starting with the aleph, vav, lamed, you have this form evil, which means fools or foolishness. Psalm 107, 17. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of Yehovah is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 10:14. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. I'll put a link to a previous series that I did called Darche Choshech, Paths of Darkness, showing the steps that lead from the beginning of foolishness till the end of iniquity. Sin doesn't happen overnight, but it happens in stages. To the foolishness is the beginning of those stages. Also related, Ivelet, Proverbs 14.1. Every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish plucks it down with her hands. Proverbs 14.29. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalts folly. Proverbs 22.15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. So, of course, we see a lot of appearance of these words in the Proverbs, warning us against this foolishness. Now, with the Aleph Vav Nun, we have a more serious accusation of iniquity. This is pronounced Avin. 1 Samuel 15.25 For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of Yehovah, he has also rejected you, Saul, from being king. Job 4.8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Psalm 7.14. Behold, he travails with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. Psalm 36.4. He devises mischief upon his bed he sets himself in a way that is not good. He abhors not evil. Psalm 36, 12. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Job 5, 6. Although affliction comes not forth of the dust, neither does trouble spring out of the ground. Psalm 10, 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Wickedness is vanity. Maybe vanity is wickedness. Moving on to the ayin vav lamed evel, Job 27.4. My lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. Psalm 43.1. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. Leviticus 19.35. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in measurement, in weight, or in measure. Deuteronomy 32.4 He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment. A God of truth without iniquity, just and right is he. As we come to the ayin vav nun, this is pronounced avon. Genesis 4.13 Cain said unto Yehovah, My punishment is greater than I can bear. So this is something that happens occasionally. The word for the sin or the iniquity is the same as the word for the punishment. Sometimes you have the word chet, which means sin, and it also means the sin offering. Genesis 19.15 And when the morning arose, then angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters, which are here, lest you be consumed in the iniquity of the city. What they are talking about is the punishment for the iniquity. Exodus 20, verse 5. You shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. 1 Samuel 3, 14. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli, 
that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. That is a hard word. Second Samuel 24.10 Now David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto Jehovah, I have sinned greatly in that I have done. And now I beseech you, O Jehovah, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. Isaiah 1.4 Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Jehovah. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Daniel 7.24 Seven weeks are determined upon your people and upon your holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make a reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy, a day we are waiting for. Now there is a related verb, ayin vape, ava, which means to commit iniquity or to be perverse. And in many of these root words for sin and iniquity, we find this idea of twisting or perversion or corruption of the truth. Second Samuel 19:19, 19, 19, and said unto the king, Let not my lord impute iniquity unto me, neither do you remember that which your servant did perversely the day that my lord the king went out of Jerusalem, that the king should take it to his heart. Isaiah 21:3. Therefore are my loins filled with pain. Pangs have taken hold of me as the pangs of a woman travails. I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it. In other words, something terrible is happening on my insides and it causes me to bow over. Isaiah 24, 1. Behold, Jehovah makes the earth empty and makes it waste and turns it upside down and scatters abroad the inhabitants thereof. Esther 1, 16. And Memekin answered before the king and the princes, Vashti the queen has not done wrong to the king only, but also to the princes and to all the people that are in the provinces of the king of Ahasuerus. Now, if you have been taking Hebrew for a little while, you know that this consonantal vav sometimes will shift into a vowel. And this probably might be the best example you know. The verb to die is mut, la mut, to die. That is the infinitive form. But the word death, it becomes a consonant, and that word is mavet. So we're going to look up a couple of those transforms in these roots. Remember, we've been working with the consonantal form. So here is a vowel form, aleph, vav, lamet, ulai, which means perhaps. This is connected to... The foolishness, which we started out with, the avil, by the idea of wavering. The fool is constantly blowing in the wind. He doesn't know what to think. He changes his mind. It says in James that the double-minded man will not receive anything. Genesis 16.2 And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold, Jehovah has restrained me from bearing. I pray you, go into my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai, and we know the result of that adventure. Genesis 18.24 Per adventure, maybe, there will be fifty righteous within the city. Will you also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? However, they weren't therein. At looking at the Aleph Vav Nun, this is a word on, that means strength, and we see it in these scriptures. Genesis 49.3 Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Isaiah 4.29 He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. So if we think about avon iniquity, we can say that it is a strong thing, and sometimes it holds us in bondage. And one more we're going to look at, which is the word ol. We see the cholem chaser doesn't have the vav, but it has the sound. Sometimes I think it is printed with the vav. And this word means yoke consistently. Genesis 27, 40. And by your sword shall you live, and shall serve your brother, and it shall come to pass that when you shall have the dominion, that you shall break his yoke from off your neck.
Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden taken away from off your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Again, in terms of evil, in terms of iniquity, we know that that is something that binds us, that drives us, that rules over us the way a yoke rules over our oxen. I pray you draw something out of these word studies. Till next time, tasimit ha'inayim al hashamayim. Keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.